Hi, I'm Heath McKinley, Product Specialist for Sony Australia. And I'm Mark Gaylor, Sony Imaging Ambassador. And this is Alpha Insights. This video is all about silent shooting and electronic shutter. So Mark, I know you don't use silent shooting quite often, but uh, is there any times where you do use it or you do find it useful? Yeah, I know uh, for you, Heath, it was a big game changer because you were working in the film industry where no one could make a sound yeah, when right. you're rolling. Uh, for me, it's a little bit different because I'm not in that uh, situation. I do own an A9, A92, and also the other Alpha uh, full frame and crop sensor cameras. So there's a difference between these two cameras. So for instance, on the A9, A92, it's pretty much always using silent shooting, which is just referred to as the electronic shutter. And the reason for that is obviously it's using a very different style of sensor there. So I rarely actually use the mechanical shutter on the A9. Okay, I actually have to have an audio signal to actually let me know I'm actually shooting sports action on the A9 cameras. Mm -hmm. So as you said, I, I use it a little bit more sparingly on the other alpha cameras. Uh, and that is because you can get um, shutter distortion, sometimes referred to as rolling shutter or the jello effect when you're using um, silent shooting on these um, other alpha cameras. But I still use it. And I'll just give you a, an overview of the sort of instances where I will use it. If I'm using uh, creating uh, um, still shots for maybe a time lapse, I'll be using the interval timer. And if I'm doing a thousand shots, I don't want to really want to do that on the mechanical shutter. Uh, I will do that on um, silent shooting. And um, there's another reason I find if I'm doing street photography, um, subjects are not moving that quickly, maybe just pedestrians moving in the street. I don't want to draw attention to myself. So I'll often um, have the camera down from my eye. I'll be using my thumb on the shutter release. And I might even be looking somewhere else when I actually press the shutter release. So somebody who's walked through my shot doesn't even know that I've taken the photograph. And there, then there are those few instances where you're in an environment where making a sound is not really appropriate, a bit like your film set. Yeah. I remember in the old days um, when I didn't have silent shooting, I approached um, a, a solo violinist. Um, and you could, uh, apart from the violin playing, everybody was you know, quiet listening to this recital. And I approached, got up there quite closely and went ka-clunk. <laughs> and I just realized how inappropriate a mechanical shutter is in some instances. Some people probably um, use silent shooting a lot more, but then what I find um, on the online forums is a question, where's my bulb mode gone? Uh, because silent shooting does disable certain features on the camera and you see those popular questions and the first answer usually from me or from somebody else is turn silent shooting off okay um, i think in, in other areas where you'll find that um, the mechanical shutter is locked out if you do have the 7r3 7r4 and you want to use pixel shift multi-mode, yeah. um, the camera will automatically default to just using electronic shutter. Yes. You're capturing multiple frames between four and 16 yes. on the 7R4, so you are gonna be just capturing electronic uh, sensor data from that. Yes. Uh, how about I go a little bit deeper, we'll talk about how the electronic shutter works, what, uh, what you're looking for when you wanna turn it on or off in your camera, and uh, we'll look at those settings now. All right, let's start by looking at the difference between a mechanical shutter and an electronic shutter. So as we can see in this animation here, the mechanical shutter is opening and closing the shutter curtains to allow light to hit the sensor. But uh, all those moving parts do create a noise. Whereas with the electronic shutter, there's no moving parts. So therefore there's no noise when taking a photograph. So looking at this traditional uh, DSLR, shutter mechanism here. We have the mirror moving up and down to allow the light to pass through the shutter mechanism, but uh, that movement can introduce uh, noise and vibration, whereas the electronic shutter is uh, free from all of those things. Next up, we're gonna look at how an electronic shutter actually captures uh, that image. Here we have the conventional electronic shutter scanning the sensor from the top to the bottom of the image. So uh, that scan rate varies depending on your camera. Uh, it can be anywhere from between say 20 milliseconds up to 70 milliseconds for that scan on a conventional electronic shutter. Whereas the uh, Alpha 9 camera has a scan rate of around six milliseconds. And it's because of that very fast 
uh, scan rate that the, uh, the 9 series cameras are able to shoot such fast action without any uh, rolling shutter or distortion. So speaking of rolling shutter, let's look at this uh, image here. Uh, on the, one, the left here we have a golfer that has a very strangely bent golf club. Now that image has been captured by a conventional electronic shutter. So what's happened there is, is uh, because of that slower scan time, the, uh, the electronic shutter has started its scan at the top of the image um, and it's captured the, uh, the golf club as it started to swing. But by the time it's got to the bottom of the sensor, the golf club moving as fast as it is has actually moved location. So you end up with this rolling shutter or distorted image effect. Now you'll notice that the image on the right here from the Alpha 9 camera, it doesn't suffer from that and that's because of that faster scan rate. So what that means is if you are going to be shooting very fast action, then the, uh, the 9 series camera is going to give you the best uh, image quality without any distortion. Alternatively, you can switch back to mechanical shutter, however you will lose silent shooting. Now you'll notice in that image though that the, the golfer himself is not distorted, it's only the club which is moving a lot faster than everything else in the scene that's, that's got that rolling shutter effect. Now, I will mention that um, if you are using flash photography, you will need to have the camera in mechanical shutter mode. And if you are in a, an environment, say a club or an event space where there's a lot of uh, mixed lighting, um, it can be better to use the mechanical shutter there to avoid any banding issues from the, um, the sensor capturing the light as it changes. Now, to set your camera up uh, into uh, electronic sh shutter or silent shooting mode, um, it is different depending on whether you have the uh, 9 series or 7 series cameras. So, in the Alpha 9 and 9 Mark II, the setting you're going to be looking for is called electronic shutter. Uh, you will still be able to hear a noise from the uh, audio signals. So, if you do want to have the com camera completely silent, you need to set the audio signals to off. Whereas if you have any of the Alpha 7 series cameras, uh, all you need to do is put the camera into silent shooting. So some of the reasons why you may want to shoot with electronic shutter is uh, silent shooting. As Mark said earlier, shooting time lapses, uh, when you're shooting thousands of images, uh, it can be good practice to use the electronic shutter to help save on wear and tear on the mechanical shutter. If you have the 7R3 or 7R4 camera and you want to shoot the pixel shift multi-mode, you will be required to use electronic shutter there as well. And of course, if you do have a, an Alpha 9 or 9 Mark II, shooting an electronic shutter allows you to shoot 20 frames a second blackout free shooting. So I hope you found that information useful. Uh, be sure to check out the links in the description below to uh, see more information about how to use electronic shutter. Um, also check out Mark's channel uh, Sony Alpha Creative Skills for more videos ranging from five minutes to 50 minutes, I suppose, yes. um, with a whole range of subjects. That's right. So, uh, and we can catch you online next time. Just make sure you subscribe and check out the info section below the movie.